I'll try to share with you on this next hour a few uh, treatment planning steps, and I'm sure he will show on his lecture on restorative alternatives some more up-to-date treatment planning, and then list some factors that may influence surgical alternatives, and then try to correlate those surgical alternatives with the restorative solutions. Remembering I'm an oral maxillofacial surgeon, and sometime in the past, we would just look at Combing CTs or just CTs and try to come up with the best surgical solution. And then later to realize that was probably not for the best restorative solution. So if you see a case like this, just an x ray, and then you have to decide do you graft this posterior area? Now with these digital tools that I just got last week in Brazil, I finally got the code diagnostics, the new version, now could play a little bit better. Or would you go for short, na uh, narrow diameter implants in the front and short in the posterior? Or maybe you would do longer and tilted implants? So these are all choices we have to deal with nowadays because there is <laughs> tools, implant tools meant for each scenario. But it doesn't matter if the patient still have or has some teeth and will lose those teeth and become a completely edentulous patient, or if it is a major maxillary and mandibular atrophy, this is the base of the tongue, this is what is left of the maxilla, just some soft tissue. Patients do not want grafts or zygoma implants or tilted implants or short implants. 